I need to get going because it is 2.24. So, it takes me about, usually it would take me about 25, 30 minutes to get there. But since it is this early in the morning and there's no traffic, it'll take me about 15, 20 minutes to get there. So, this is... A little coffee that I drink every day. I was going to say every day when I work, but it's every day. I haven't been feeling good. My stomach's been upset, so I haven't been drinking coffee. But I need my coffee. It's kind of like my treat in the morning for getting up. Alright, so now I'm just gonna get my shoes on. I got a shoe mask going on over here. And I'm not taking any food to work. I'm just gonna take a power aid with me. Because I get off at 12, so I'll just eat when I get home. bad day um it was busy i ended up having two intakes and then i was dosing all morning so it wasn't too bad so like i said by intake it means like somebody that's new to the clinic and that's going to require the blood draw and all that stuff so it was a pretty good day not too much crazy stuff happened i couldn't really vlog at work though because nursing students and we're literally in a little tiny cage as it is. I couldn't really, you know, vlog like I wanted to. And then for lunch today, I literally had like a 20 minute lunch and I like ate a banana. Cause mind you, like my lunch is at like nine in the morning. So it's like, I don't really have a big appetite but I need something to kind of keep me going, you know? So I ate a banana. So I just got back home right now. It's like one o'clock. I left over pasta from the Olive Garden that I ate two on Sunday. Today is Tuesday, so I ate this on the day before yesterday. I ate this and I had a little leftovers and guys I'm not playing around when it comes to eating my leftovers. Um normally I'd be like that, ah, whatever, but y'all everything has gone up crazy amount. 
So I'm gonna eat every little thing I have in my fridge. So that's all I'm eating. Mm. I'm so glad. That was a pretty good day. Uh, I do have good days and I did have bad days like every job, you know. Couple of things as I eat. I'll have like a little mukbang over here. So methadone is a controlled substance that people use. Um, they take it instead of taking drugs. It basically um, prevents you from having withdrawals. So, so a lot of people are anti-methadone, but I mean, I've seen people on methadone be a fully functioned person on society and, you know, not do anything bad. And by ba bad behavior, I'm talking about like get arrested or anything like out of their mind. Like they're able to go to work. They're able to, you know, be, you know, a good family, family oriented and all that stuff, you know. Sometimes when, um, when addicts are at the worst, you know, it's hard for them to function, obviously. So, um, I think it is a good program for people that are serious about getting clean and all that stuff. It does, um, there's different like phases and stuff. It is a full on program. There's counseling with it. So it's not just like they're just taking it, you know, there's, there's a whole side of mental health, um, therapy and stuff that goes kind of got into this because Two years ago, my brother, or it's almost going to be two years ago, my brother overdosed. And so, like, it kind of, um, I don't know, that's how I kind of started getting into um, the behavioral self side of nursing. And, yeah, so I've been working there part-time at the methadone clinic. And so far, I liked it. There is this patient, of course, I'm not going to say names and all that stuff because of HIPAA, but um, there was this patient that... Um, and ended up dying. And like, you get really close to these patients because you see them, you literally see them like almost every day. There's people that come in every two weeks, but yeah, that's like, you know, when they're at a different level of treatment, when if they, they've phased up. But for the basic people that just started, they always come in for, uh, every single day, except for on Sunday, we're closed. So we'll give them a dose for Saturday. But so you get really close to these people, you start talking to them, these patients are awesome, you know? There was this young mom that just, well, she wasn't young. She was in her 20s or early 30s. She had just had her baby, and she ended up getting clean and everything for her baby. And then she literally ended up having, again, a car wreck. So, and dying. So, basically, that little baby was, like, without a mama. So, that day was really hard for me. I think... It was really hard because, well, one, she just died, you know, she's a human being and I got, you know, like, talked to her a lot. And second of all, like, I don't know, I think just because she was clean as a well made it really hard because, I don't know, like, it just made it hard because in a sense, like, you never know when it's your time, you know, and you can... You just don't know when it's your time, when it, or God wants to take you or whatever. And I guess it was her time, but I, I don't know. It was just so sad. It was like tragic, you know? So yeah, that was a really hard day. There's just a lot of things, you know, that kind of trigger me sometimes. But then there's a lot of happy things that like make me happy when I see people that are doing good. So, so yeah, I like working there. And yeah, that's basically my day. Like I dose a lot and um, they have like this um, pump that automatically dispenses the medication. And of course, like you have to be paying attention. You know, there's a lot more that goes into it, but that's it in a nutshell. So this is my little time to relax. This is my me time. Uh, even though my house is kind of a mess and stuff, I'm not gonna worry about that because I am going to focus on just having a little bit of me time right now before my son gets off at off of school. So it's like one something, I'm gonna eat my little lunch, watch a little bit TV and relax and unwind. And then um, before I pick my son up, I'm gonna like run into the grocery store and buy a few things for dinner. And then, you know, I'll have my routine, my mom routine, which is homework and dinner and all that stuff. So fun. Fun, exciting. I'm grateful that I only have to work part time because I feel like it makes a difference. You know, it makes a difference 
with everything that I do. Like as far as being a mom, a more present. Um, I was working full time for a while and it was just getting to me, you know, I was like so tired and just out of it. So I'm just grateful that I can work uh, part time and um, be more present, you know, so that's about it. And yes, I do have a sheet on my bed. I just got these couches and I'm waiting for like two chairs that are going to come in tomorrow, I think. And they're like the swivel chairs. But y'all, I'm not used to having white couches, so I put a sheet. And I used to always make fun of people that had white couches that put sheets on. Now I'm one of those like people that grateful to be alive, grateful to enjoy this meal, grateful for everything. That's what I tell myself every day. I tell myself that. I remind myself of every little thing that where I was and where I, what I've become and what you know the person I want to be. So. I'll catch you guys in a little bit after I go to the grocery store and then see what, what I'm going to be cooking. Probably something easy today. I'm thinking like salmon or something. I don't know. We'll see what I find at the store. <laughs> All right. So I just got back from picking up my son and going to Trader Joe's. This is my little haul right here. And I didn't get too much because I'm not going to cook the rest of the days. I'm just going to cook on today's Tuesday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then Thursday my father-in-law is gonna put backsplash because we're kind of remodeling our kitchen so he's gonna put backsplash so obviously he's gonna move the stove so i didn't buy too much groceries so casey can you casey come on the words are right there for you nine million So I'm about to make my tacos. Um, I'm just gonna add all this seasoning to my diced chicken, pollo asado, uh, onion salt, onion powder, garlic salt, and I don't know if I want to add this. I'm not sure yet. I kind of little, wanted like a little bit of red to it, and this has crushed peppers. I don't know. I'm debating. And a few squeezes of this lemon. I usually use lime, but this is all I have on hand right now, so I'm going to use it. Mm -hmm. A little bit. Alright, so for my guacamole, I'm going to add avocado, obviously. Probably one of jalapeno, depending on, I don't know. I'll see my mood after I cut these up. And then I'm going to add one tomato, or maybe half of this. A piece of onion, a little, few uh, squeezes of that, some cilantro, garlic salt, garlic salt and onion salt. And then hopefully I'll have to taste it to see if I want more salt. But this is what I'm going to add. I usually add purple onion and it gives it a different flavor like chipotle does. But I don't have any so I'm just going to use white onion. This is two avocados. It's literally like, there's nothing. I got onion, cilantro, tomato, and jalapeno. And now I'm going to just 
add garlic salt, onion salt, and a little bit of sea salt. And a dash of lemon. Look how pretty. This is going to be so delicious. And this is literally all I'm going to add to it. I was going to add cheese, but I forgot to buy a queso fresco, so I'm not going to add cheese. Alright, I know this looks simple and bland, but I promise you it's not. There's onion in there it's and everything, so there's jalapenos in here, so I really don't need anything. I just need a big old scoop of guacamole. Guacamole has everything. It has onion and everything, so I don't need that much. I wish I did have uh, queso fresco, but it's okay. It is okay. And these are going to taste delicious because they have fresh ingredients. Um, I could add more onion or more cilantro, but the guacamole already has all the fixings I need, so I'm good. This is enough. I'm about to go upstairs after I eat this and take a bath and put something on this big old zip that I have on my face. And that's it. That was my day. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, it wasn't too exciting, but um, I didn't get to go on a walk or run today, which is kind of sucks. But tomorrow I'm off, so I will do my exercise tomorrow. So yeah, this is kind of simple, but it's dinner. And it's okay, because I've been up since like 3 o'clock in the morning. And this is fancy and delicious for my family so thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one